roll an elf. First, I'm going to roll. I see I have a four, so I go up to first roll, and then I come down to number four, and I draw that face, starting off with a kind of a U shape. And I draw up for each ear, and then along the line of the hat, the cotton, the little hair, and the shape of the hat. If I take it a little bit at a time, it's much more manageable, looking at one little area at a time. You want to start off and make sure that first curved line is nice and big so that you have a big enough face that you can fit all of your facial features in, the eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, so I rolled a six on my second turn, and so I'm going to draw that in. Ooh, those are tiny. I know I'm going to need a skinny Sharpie if I trace that. Okay, on my third roll, I rolled a three. So I come to third roll and there. So I'm going to start off with the shape of the elves shirt or tunic or whatever an elf's clothing is called. Do the collar, the buttons, and then the arms. Bent line, thicken it up oval for the hand. He's got his hands on his hips. Okay. Oh, we've got a belt, the buckle, and then I draw lines out to make the belt. Okay, now I'm ready for my final turn. That's rule number four. And I got three again. So I'm going to draw the legs and the shoes. I like the shoes I got. They have little bells on the toes of them. That's what I think of when I think of elf shoes. Either bells on the toes or curly tipped shoes. Kind of wish that my elf's tights had some stripes on them. Maybe I can go back and add that in later. Okay, I take it just a little bit at a time until I'm happy with my shoes. I might give the elf some floor to stand on. If there's plenty of time, I'll take a Sharpie and trace my lines. I decided to use Sharpie just on the elf and then use my colored pencils to outline the background as I colored it in. I hope you have fun today rolling an elf.